Hello friends, Eric Mills here. I miss you all, even the ones I don't know. I will be playing Antonio in Delaware Shakespeare's The Tempest, and today I am going to be reading for you sonnet number 90. And uh, in honor of Delaware Shakespeare and all outdoor theater, I thought I'd do it outdoors. Uh, but I must warn you, along with that comes the prerequisite bird calls and airplanes flying overhead and my neighbor playing basketball in his yard. So bear with me, please. Uh, I promise we will get through this. Okay, to the sonnet. Um, when I was looking at sonnet number 90 and seeing how it might relate to uh, Antonio, uh, I came across a quote. Sonnet number 90 is a continuation of 89, and 87, 88, 89, 90, it's a theme running through there. And this quote is about this series of sonnets. And the quote says, we feel ourselves to be speeding down an ever-decreasing spiral of loss and wretchedness. And I thought, that's it. I mean, that's Antonio. Uh, here is this man who has this drive, this deed for power and control, and it is leading him down this narrowing spiral of, to loss and wretchedness. Um, the difference being between Antonio and the poet is that Antonio doesn't see it. He, he doesn't realize it. He just keeps going defiant step after defiant step down that path. The poet, on the other hand, recognizes the possibility of the loss of this great love of his. And in his defense, this, this number 90, this sonnet, in his defense, he is laying out how it should go. If and when this happens, this is how it should go. So with that, I give you sonnet number 90. Then hate me now when thou wilt, if ever, now. Now, while the world is bent my deeds to cross, join with the spite of fortune, make me bow, and do not drop in for an after loss. Ah, do not. When my heart has escaped this sorrow, come in the rearward of a conquered woe. Give not a windy night a rainy morrow to linger out a purposed overthrow. If thou wilt leave me, do not leave me last, when other petty griefs have done their spite. But in the onset come, so shall I taste at first the very worst of fortune's might, and other strains of woe, which now seem woe, compared with loss of thee, will not seem so. Be well. Peace.